Happy holidays and happy almost new year. A lot of you, uh, me included, have been enjoying a lot of treats during this holiday season. And I'm ready to get started on getting my butt kicked, getting back into shape, and more than anything, uh, burning some calories so I can maybe enjoy a few more treats. <laughs> so today's workout is going to be my substitute for the gym. I miss the gym like crazy, and there's certain muscle groups that are really hard to do at home. It's hard to figure out a way to really hit them without that equipment at the gym. So today we're gonna to be hitting a couple of those hard to hit areas. We're talking about our biceps, our triceps, our lats, our shoulders. Some of these areas that, you know, push up and resistance training, I have a hard time isolating really well. And the way we're doing that is with whatever you can find that's got a little bit of weight to it and you can hold in your hand. I'm gonna be using two rocks I grabbed from outside. You, however, could just use two cans of soup, two water bottles, uh, some heavy shoes, uh, maybe um, those younger brother and sister <laughs> that uh, you need to toss around a little bit. Whatever works for you, grab those and let's get to our feet and let's get into this workout. <clears throat> so starting things off right off the bat, we're going to do some bicep curls. So I'm going to bend my knees slightly, tuck my hips in. I want to keep my ribs from bowing as I do these. I'm just going to curl one, two, just rotate back and forth. Pop it through these. I'm keeping my elbows in tight against my side and trying to not move the upper part of my arm, but really isolate the movement into the lower part. You can keep your core engaged, keep your glutes engaged. You can start off a little slower with these motions as your body gets you know, ready for this workout until we hit it harder coming up soon. So five more seconds. Just a moment longer. Great job, done. Next, we're going to be raising them out to the side. So again, my core is engaged, my butt is tucked, and I'm bringing it up to flat and back down. Really important as we do these, that we try to isolate the movement. If you find that you're kind of throwing your hips <laughs> it looks like I'm pumping the camera. Sorry about that, viewers. If you find that you're throwing your hips, that means you're using too much weight. Find something that weighs a little bit less. If you find that you don't have a good range of motion or anything feels weird, you know, go for something a little lighter. We're at home. We're just having fun. Nobody's judging. Just find something that works for you. Great job. Great job. One more, and then we're going to shake our hands out. So try to keep those weights in your hands. Don't give up on them yet, okay? This next one you're going to do, you're going to raise them up over your heads and then you're going to lower it down and back up. So we're driving it straight up, trying to isolate our triceps, the backside of our arms. So try to keep those as still as you can as you do these. And again, keeping that core engaged, belly button to the spine. I hope all of you had a really good Christmas, Hanukkah, whatever it is that you celebrate. I hope you found ways to make it really fun this year. We had a lot of fun getting to do Zoom calls in with our family. We miss seeing so much. Last one, you guys, get your final one. Drop them down, shake it out. We're gonna go through that whole thing again. This next time though, we're gonna go a little faster, but still try to maintain that good form. So we're gonna start back up in five, four, three, two, one, begin. This time we're going faster, but we're still trying to keep our arms isolating here. We're trying to keep it in tight against our bodies, our bellies tucked, our belly buttons pulled in towards our spine, our glutes engaged, our knees softly bent. So we're keeping this motion isolated to our biceps. Good job. Don't give up, don't give up. We're almost done, a little bit faster. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent work. Breathe for a moment, but don't drop your weights. We're gonna also work our grip strength by keeping those weights in our hands. Here we go, you guys, starting back up with our opening up to a T. Here we go, and begin.
We had fun exchanging gifts with each other, too, for the holiday. I got Margaret a special hot pink stool for her sewing room in our trailer. She's trying to turn it into her she shed. Jimmy's been getting really into wood carving, so he did wood carvings for all of us. He made me a boomerang that looks just like Sokka's from Avatar The Last Airbender. And he made Margaret a pin holder for her sewing room that looks like a snail. The pins formed the eyeballs on the stalks. Oh, good job, you guys. All right, rest for a moment. I felt those. I have a harder time with those, those shoulder raises there. Next are our tricep dips. You can do these standing. I'm just kneeling so that way I fit into the camera frame better. Arms straight up by your ears. Lower it back and up. Again, try to keep it isolated. You're gonna have good, strong arms ready to take on whatever challenges the day brings you. And I'm hoping that challenge is really athletic puppy petting. Some aerial agility dogs diving through the air and you pet them mid-leap. All right, bring them down. Rest for just a moment, shake it out. We were talking about if we could have an advent calendar of like anything, you know, not just like little candies, but it could be anything, what it would be. And uh, one of the ones that we all agree would be great would be puppies. Just every day you open it up and there's just a different puppy to play with for like 10 minutes, just have a lot of fun with it. <laughs> and then begin your day in just the most positive, wonderful mind space. All right, you guys, next one, we're gonna need only one rock. So just grab one. Uh, I'm gonna grab this one's a little bit heavier, but it's got smoother corners. So you're gonna be passing it around your body. So starting here on my side, I'm just doing circles right around my body. Just moving nice and quick. Again, trying to keep my core engaged, my glutes engaged. We're finding fun ways too to keep our shoulders strong. Unique ways, different movements. Good ways to confuse our muscles by trying different things. Switch directions. I always deal with a little bit of rotator cuff injury in my right shoulder from a stunt that went wrong. On TV, <laughs> we were doing a stunt where I was holding large up in the air and myself on just my hands. And I went wacky and the large almost fell on his head. I kept it from happening, but I tore my right rotator. And we saved it for the TV show we were on, but oh, it took a long time to heal. So I always do a little bit of extra therapy, extra exercise. Okay, rest, that was really fun. We're gonna rest just for five, four, three, two, one. Now we're rotating it under our leg. If you wanna give it a little toss, you can, or you can just hand it, hand it, just passing it under the knee. Try to keep your core active as you do this. So you get a little bit of a crunch going as well. That's getting your legs into it, your biceps into it. Just a moment longer. And rest. Great job, everybody. Next thing we're gonna be doing is gonna be a squat, and we're gonna raise the stone. <sighs> Starting up in five, three, two, one. So if I sit back, when I'm sitting back into a chair, the motion starts with my butt, going back, I come up and I raise the stone up. Sit my butt back and up. Now when I press up from that squat, I want the weight to be in the heels of my feet. If it's in my toes, that means I need to sit back further with my butt. And as I come up, I wanna feel my glutes activating. That's another sign to tell you how you're doing this workout. If you don't feel your glutes being a part of it, again, that means you need to sit further back. You can achieve that by putting a chair behind you and just try to sit back into it. That way if you go too far, you're not gonna fall over. Just a moment longer, you guys. If you wanna go a little faster, you can.
And last one, and done. Drop your weight, grab a quick drink, take a moment to breathe. We're gonna do the whole thing again in just a moment. Oh, you know, working out feels so good. It's so hard to get started, but once you're going, doesn't it feel great just knowing that you are making these positive choices of like, you can feel yourself getting stronger as you're making it happen. I love that feeling of the blood pumping and your body getting warm on these colder days. All right, you guys, get your stone. Again, with passing it around your body. Ready, begin. Now play with this motion. You can go really tight in towards your body and fast, or you can do really wide motions. Out and around. See what feels good to you. And then maybe do the other one. The one that doesn't feel good, try it out. And switch it up. Maybe go a little fast and close for a moment, and then go wide and big after that. All right, we're gonna be switching directions in three, two, one, switch directions. Hopefully your heart rate is coming up. You're breathing a little heavy. If you aren't, go faster. If we do a good job, we've earned some eggnog. Even if you don't do a good job, you've earned some eggnog. You know what, you got up and you got moving. That's awesome. A little faster, a little faster. Five, four, three, two, one. Whoo! Breathe. Next, we're doing under the legs as we raise those knees. Starting at five, four, three, two, one. Begin. This time, I'm going to try to toss my weight a little bit. So I have to cushion it on its way down, really driving my knee up, trying to get a little bit of height with that weight. That's gonna add more poundage, more resistance, and more of a chance of breaking a toe. <laughs> you know what, just like that dun to dun if you drop it, you just pick it back up. That song was such a letdown. After so much time saying, don't drop the dun to dun they just said, if you do, Pick it back up. Are you keeping that core engaged? Are you keeping your belly tucked and squeeze that spine to belly button compression? That way you get a little bit of a crunch into these two. Three, two, one. Rest for a moment. We got our squats with the raise of the shoulders with a little bit of that thrust at the top. In five, four, three, two, one. Sit your butt back. It starts with the butt. If you feel brave, you can toss the weight. Make sure you're not gonna crack yourself in the head. Again, try to feel the weight in your heels as you squat back. Keep your knees behind your toes. You don't want those knees passing your toes. These are kind of fun. I like this with the toss. It's a little bit of a danger, a little element of adrenaline, coordination, dexterity. I imagine my friends came to me with their baby child and they said, would you like to hold the baby? And I said, yeah. And I threw it right in the air. And they screamed in terror. But the baby loved it because it was safe. Last one, you guys. Good job. Drop your weight, take a moment to breathe. We're just doing one more set, and then we are done with this workout. One more. 
don't know about y'all. My heart's going good. All right, you guys. Starting off with one weight. We are gonna use both the weights though for part of this workout. First one though, you just need one weight. Take it in one hand, legs slightly spread, core engaged, hips tucked. Raise it up over the head, pass it to the other hand and down. So you're almost doing a jumping jack motion. But you wanna have complete control This is one of the reasons why I say to keep that core engaged. It becomes so important just to make sure that you are stable as you do this. If this is a new motion for you, start slower. Doing good. I'm trying to breathe kind of loud on these. That way you can hear that I'm trying to take nice deep breaths. Make sure I keep breathing. I'm not holding my breath. If I can, I expel it as I lift. Last one. Great job. Next, you're gonna need both your weights. So get your other weight ready. For this one, I'm gonna hinge forwards I'm gonna keep my knees slightly bent as I hinge forwards. My arms are hanging in front of me and I'm bringing them straight open. I'm gonna do this towards the camera. So I'm hinged forwards, my knees are bent so I'm not doing too much on my hamstrings. If you feel it in your hamstrings, then bend your knees more. And then I'm going to be bringing my arms up like this. I'm bending my elbows and I'm pinching my shoulder blades together in the back. Let's do this, you guys. So this is almost like a rowing motion to activate those back muscles. This is also the motion I use when I'm peeling string cheese. I make a big mess. Almost done, you guys. You got this, keep going. Three, two, one. Drop your stones for a sec, shake it out, shake it out. We're gonna do one last round and then we're gonna repeat the whole thing again. The final thing in this set is gonna be another round of our bicep curls. This time though, you're gonna be doing them both at the same time or you can alternate if you like that better. Your choice, but I'm gonna do same time for mine. So let's do this, you guys, ready? Begin. Try to keep your body as still as you can as you do this. Nice and still, elbows tucked in towards the ribs, belly button pulled in, stable through the body, the motion is happening in the biceps, nowhere else. The first group stunt we do in the show, I hold Margaret on my chest as I'm hanging from Jimmy's feet. And it is just a long bicep hold. So I wanna make sure I still have the strength to do these stunts when we get back to work. Fingers crossed for this spring. Three, two, one. Drop your weights, shake it out. Our final set. Y'all, we're almost through this workout. This has been fun. Feels so good to get up and moving. Do something positive. It's so easy to just pick out and snack foods, to drink a lot of coffee or a lot of alcohol. It's easy to just overdo it on things. And there's nothing wrong with having sweets, having a drink, whatever the thing is you like to do in moderation. But it's easy to overdo it. We're balancing that out today with this workout. Y'all getting back into it, starting off with just one stone for our modified jumping jack raises with the stone. So arm comes up, passes it over, brings it down. If you want, you can try adding in legs on this. I find it to be fun, 
but a little difficult to do. It makes it a little bit more challenging. And you're adding in that hop. Make sure you're landing soft if you do that option. I'm landing with my toes, softening it down. Maybe can you do it in, out, down. Play with it, try different things. I'm gonna do a few of my feet stable now and just going for a little bit faster over the top. Our last round of these. Five, three, and done. All right, grab your other stone. Now we're doing those hinged forwards at the waist, modified rows. So I bend my knees slightly. I come forwards, I sit my butt back, my knees are slightly bent, my arms hang forwards with my weights. And I bring it up and pinching my shoulder blades. Pinching the shoulder blades. Just a moment longer. Three, two, one. Great job. Hold on to your weights. Our last workout, our bicep curls. Here we go. Both at the same time, elbows in towards the ribs, begin. Let's get it. Our last workout. This, I feel like, is the motion I've done all December. Raising things to my mouth. So many yummy things. And I've loved it. <laughs> uh, Ari has got the most amazing significant other. Significant other. Who made smoked salmon rolls. We spent Christmas Eve with Ari and his girl. In our little quarantine pod together. Oh, those smoked salmon rolls are so good. I'm imagining I'm raising those right up to mouth. Um, yum, 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 yum. Here we go, you guys. At the finish line for five, four, three, two, one. Great job, y'all. Drop your weights. Bring it in for a fist bump. Bam. Y'all did a great job getting through that workout with me today. It was fun. I hope you had a good time. Let me know in the comments what you thought of this workout, what you would like from our next workout. If there's anything you've been struggling to do during this quarantine, ways to work out, you would like to find uh, a way to modify for at home, maybe classes you used to take. We'll try to make it happen. Maybe we'll even get uh, you know, Margaret to do uh, like a dance one. I think that would be really fun. She's really good at that stuff. I'll see if I can talk her into it. But guys, until then, it's been so much fun. And we will see you soon. Have such an amazing day. You've already made it fantastic. Bye, everyone.